hi guys how are you all doing i hope you're all fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much god bless you but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and re subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends in our today's video i am going to be sharing with you a story of a lady who thought had found the one on facebook this guy is the one who approached her, then they started communicating, and apparently the lady had given up completely on online dating apps, wasn't searching. But when this guy came, she was like, why not? Let me give it a try. So they started communicating and everything was going really, really good until <laughs> something happened and she decided to contact me after contacting me i advised her and i really thank god that she followed my advice and solved everything yeah so i don't want to tell you a lot about this story i just want you to listen to this lady she sent me voice notes on instagram looking for my advice so just sit down patiently with your glass of wine glass of water some popcorns and enjoy this voice notes after that i will come back here again to give you some tips that will help you very very much if you find yourself in her situation Bella, please, I want you to advise me. I have some issues because I was I was on dating apps, but I don't find anyone that is serious, so I give up for now. I'm not on dating apps. I'm now just moving on, but I'm here in Oman working. So one day, last I think it was last week, on Facebook, this white man went and sent me friend request. Then after sending me friend request, then I, I accept him. After two days, three days, when I come online, when I saw the friend request, then I accept him. Then he sent to me message, hi, how are you, dear? Then we started talking. After finished talking, he told me that he gave me his WhatsApp number. But this man is a soldier. He introduced himself to me as a soldier. He's a soldier working in Yemen. A military he's guy. The state of America. And he has one daughter. So he, he gave me his number, we started chatting, he said, let us chat on WhatsApp. So when we started talking on WhatsApp, she told me that she is 43. He told me that he is 43 years old and he is looking for someone to marry. He is not here to play with any, because he has carried age now, 43 years old. He has one daughter and the wife is dead because the wife was had accident so he told me that he lost the wife accident and he is working in Yemen is the soldier we started talking on whatsapp then after two three four days then i i asked him that i want to see him on a video call then he told me that where they are they don't do video call just like that because they are in a barrack they are in a barrack, the soldier barrack in Yemen. So they don't want those Yemen people to, to catch their location. But he will manage to put the CCTV camera off so that he can talk to me. Then he went and put the CCTV camera off. Then we started talking. But it is not for a long time. But I saw him on the camera on video call when we talk. And I went to Instagram, then I went to Instagram because I shout about him because 
On Facebook, he does not have so many pictures, but he has one picture there. He is a soldier. I saw him with the uniform with the colleagues when they snap. So, but this, the problem is that this daughter of, of his is telling me the daughter is in boarding school. He does not have someone to take care of the daughter because the wife mother want to, to, to claim the child. So they went to court. They went to court and her own mother is old. She is in a home care. Home care. So her mother is 84 years and she cannot manage again because she is old. So she went, he went and took the, the daughter to a boarding school in Ecuador. So now, after telling me about it, he told me he took the daughter, he took the daughter to Ecuador to study. The daughter is in boarding school. So he's telling me the daughter is training because in Yemen, last year, there is some problem there. They, 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 where they are in the barracks, those Yemen, those other people, they attack them. And they, they bomb them, and some people they, they get wounded, some people they, they die. So for him, he's safe, but the only problem that happened to him, he, he lost his passport and he mm. lost his bank, bank, he lost his credit card. So now he's not managing to see, he's not having a way to send money to the daughter's boarding, boarding school because of that situation. So then when we talk, because then I told him to give me the, the daughter's number, but the daughter is 13 years old, she's still little. But when I went to Instagram, I saw all the pictures of him and his daughter. I saw him with his daughter only. I don't even see any lady there or anything like that, like women, no. I saw the, 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 the pictures of his daughter, videos. Then even when I went to TikTok, I saw some of his videos. So, but the problem now, it is about her daughter. Her daughter, because I want, he, he is telling me if I can manage to help the daughter to send the money to the daughter. Because the daughter is in body, she is in body school and now she is, she is not in America now. The daughter is not in America. He, he took the daughter to. He went and leave his daughter on boarding school because of the, 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 the wife mother want to claim the child. He want to. He want to claim the child, so he told me that they went to court. So the 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 government, the law, they gave him the child because he's the father and he's taking care of the daughter. So now the the daughter is in but she's in body school. But the problem is that I don't know anybody for this man, and he told me he's working in Yemen. Then I'm confused. I really want your advice because now people are scanning people. Even though he, true, was, true, he true. does not told me to send him money, he just told me to help the daughter because the daughter is in body school. He's clever. Some things, and for him, the credit card has been lost, and uh, he told me that the credit card has been lost. He does not. He does not ask me directly to help the daughter of when we were talking in our conversation he told me about the constraint of the daughter because of he, he, he has lost his credit card and passport and he is not in America presently and he is in Yemen and the daughter is not in America he is in Ecuador in boarding school because I asked him why do you take your your child in Ecuador when you are in America then you don't leave anybody with that child you went to him and to work he said because of the the mother is old and the mother cannot manage to take care of the daughter the mother is in nursing home and the mother-in-law want to claim the child so he does not have brother he does not have sister mm. so he so he decided to take the child in Ecuador, boarding school. So the child is 13 years of age and he only has one child. 
So you see, when I go on the Instagram account, I saw him with the child. The, but I don't know if you can help me to find out more about this man, Bella, and the child again. Because I don't want to enter in a relationship that will waste my time. Then I don't want someone, I don't know if he's a scammer or what, even though he does not ask me to send him money, he just asks me to help the daughter if I can. So you see? And that man knows that I'm here working in Oman. So I'm really confused, Bella. I'm really confused. So now he's not sending money for the daughter. So if I can manage to help the daughter... The problem now, how can I send money to that daughter when I'm not seeing the daughter? I can't talk to the daughter. The daughter, she's not using telephone. She's little and she's in boarding school. And the school, they speak Spanish. She, he even gave me the school email, email, uh, uh, email, email and the school phone number. But I cannot, because that phone number is not on WhatsApp, I cannot manage to call directly. And the email, when I send email to the school, they send me Spanish. And for me, I don't know Spanish. I try to, to translate it, but still I don't understand. Yes. So, Bella, I want your advice. I really need your advice because this one is too difficult for me now. I don't know if this man is a scammer or what. I don't know, but he's sending me pictures of him, then I have seen him on a video call, and he's telling me he wants to marry me when he goes <laughs> back to America, because they will finish their, they signed, he, he signed three years contracts to go on him, to go in Yemen, to go and work, because he's a soldier. I saw him with his uniform when he called me, but we don't talk for long. Because he said there are rules and regulations mm. there. They don't want <laughs> they don't want them to 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 call on camera. So he went and put the CCTV camera off for some time. Just few time. But I saw him. I saw him Bella. But the reason is that about this is child, the, the daughter. You want me to help the daughter? Bella, how can I help this daughter? I don't even see the daughter. I cannot send money directly to that school just like that when I don't see the daughter. Even though he sent me the daughter's video and I saw when I go on her page, on his page on Instagram, I saw him with his daughter. Then he sent me some video with him with his daughter. But I cannot help that child when I don't talk to the child. He only gave me email so that I can speak to the, to the daughter. And me and that daughter, we are talking on email. Then I told him, this is not correct. How can I know if this daughter is existing? You are, we are just typing on email. She said the daughter is little and she is in body school and they don't allow them with phone. Then I'm telling him now, I want to speak to the teacher or to the, the school. He gave me the, the email, but I don't know if I, I want to send the school the email to you and the number, the number. I just want to prove something. If this man is telling me the truth that he is in Yemen and the daughter is in uh, Ecuador, the man is from America. I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain. But he is a soldier, so he said he signed three years contract to go and work in Yemen. But he will go back June, July in America. So when he got back to America, he will send me money because I'm not in Sierra Leone now. I'm in Oman working. So he said he will send me money for me to go back to my country. Then after that, he will come there to to come and get me, to come and marry me. That is what he told me. But Bella, you know nowadays these men, they are lying on some... We continue, guys. Oh, my God. Some of them, they came to play with someone's feeling, you know? But he's showing me love, even though he's not sending me anything, no money, because he said because he's lo he has lost his credit card and passport where he's working because of the, the bomb they, they throw at them. 
some lost their lives. I hope you understand. So even his daughter now, that that child uh -huh. need help. But how can I help that child when I don't see the child? I don't talk to the child. Only we talk on email, and I don't trust email. Anyone can create email and communicate through email. Even though he sent me the school email and the the, the school phone number, but I cannot manage to reach them because they speak Spanish. So I don't know if you can help me. If your husband is your your own husband can speak Spanish, if I can send you the school email and the school phone number so that you can inquire for me if it is true. If it is true, what that man is trying to tell me. Yes, because the daughter, yesterday we supposed to talk on Wednesday, but they don't call me. I even give the daughter my, my, my phone number. I said, let him call. But he said, the school said they don't know me, so he should not talk to me. On the email, the, on the email, when he sent me the email, when I saw the email this morning, that is what she told me, that they say the, the father should send letter that the... The, he, she should talk to me. So, I don't understand Bella because I'm confused. I don't know if this man is a scammer or this man just want to waste my time even though she, he is telling me good things, talking mm -hmm. to me nicely. I don't met this man on on, 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 on a dating app. No. Bella, I'm really confused about the issue. Especially about his daughter. Yes. He told me that the family, because the father came from Th Th Thailand. Thailand and the mother is from America. So when they gave birth to him, the, 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 the parents of the mother, they don't want the, the, the father, that his father, they don't want them with the mother. So the mother decided to transfer to another city with the husband. Then they went and gave birth to him. He's the only son, and he does not have any brother, any sister. So now the mother is old and he's in, she's in, in nursing home. They are taking care of her, the American government, and the, 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 the wife is dead. What he told me is what I'm telling you now, because I have seen about it. I don't met this man on a dating app, but I met him. He, he sent me a message, a friendly request on Facebook. I hope you understand. Facebook is then full of scammers. I accept hmm. him. Then we started chatting. Then he gave me his WhatsApp number. But this number is American number. The number is American number. But he's not in American now. He's, he is not in America now. He's in, in Yemen. What he told me, that is what he told me. And when I talked to him one time on a video call, and it is not for long, it does not even take two minutes, because he said because of security reasons, they don't allow them to speak and uh, to talk on a video call because of their mission here in Yemen. So we just talk quick and. <laughs> But I, I saw him, I, saw, I really saw him, and the pictures, it is him. I'm going to talk what about the red flags in this story, so that you who is out there on online dating apps searching for love, on social media platforms, when you come across these situations, then you are able to notice, oh yes, Bella talked about it, this is a red flag. There is no need even to ask Bella again, what do you think? Okay, <laughs> so number one, guys, it is just recently when I talked about military guys <laughs> and I asked you a question. Tell me if you have a success story with a military guy, bring it here and we get to enjoy it and learn because <laughs> according to my own experience, military guys or when you hear a guy is telling you i am a military i am in afghanistan run <laughs> that's a scammer but some of them you will find that they will tell you i am in america then you fall in love you get attached to them after they are done with what they wanted to do with you they tell you i've been called on a mission <laughs> in Iraq <laughs> so we cannot keep on with our relationship that is why I was like for me 
if I was on online dating apps searching, I come across a guy and he tells me I am a military guy. Mm, I was going yes to give it a try. Of course, when you are on online dating apps, sometimes you take risks, right? So if I was going to take the risk, I was going to yes chat with him but not get attached to him at all until maybe i start seeing the real actions so this guy saying he is a military guy in yemen for me before she even continued to tell me the whole story i knew something was off red flag number two video call when i say a video call you have to be able to talk and while talking, I told you, observe how the guy is, like his body language. <laughs> because if this guy is married or is hiding something from you, you will see that he is not even comfortable on that video call. And if you're talking on a video call, then he ends that video call abruptly without telling you anything. That's a red flag. No matter how he comes back to explain things, don't believe him and there is this mentality that most of us black african women we have and it's time to just you know remove it please that white guys are saints all of them a white guy cannot cheat a white guy cannot be a scammer <laughs> my dear sister for those of you who think this way you are wrong because a white man is just a man just like any other man of any color. Even if this guy showed up in a military outfit, that does not make him a saint. <laughs> that does not make him a perfect man. <laughs> it's time, guys, we get connected with the reality, okay? <laughs> So a video call of five seconds, <laughs> 10 seconds, one minute, four minutes, we can't call that a video call because you can't tell anything through that short video call. You can't study that guy that you are talking to on a video call in four minutes. <laughs> no matter how genius you are to know if a guy is lying or not. <laughs> and when we are setting a relationship, of course, we are strangers. So we need to study each other. <laughs> when we make those first video calls, of course, it is about studying how the guy talks, his body language, what he talks about, <laughs> and all of that. So if he's going to make four minutes a video call, then something is wrong. That's a red flag. And you can't come and tell me, I have talked to him on a video call. <laughs> what kind of a video call is that? <laughs> so guys, another red flag. And you know what? The good thing is that I've shared almost everything with you guys. Yes. <laughs> so this red flag is about the countries. I told you guys, when you are chatting with a guy and in your conversation, more than two countries are involved. That's a red flag. We have got a problem. Like this guy in the voice notes, as you have heard this lady, he is from America, country number one. <laughs> he works in Yemen, country number two. His daughter is in Ecuador, country number three. <laughs> the mother is from the Philippines, country number four. That itself tells you this guy is a scammer. You are chatting with a guy, he tells you I am an American, country number one. I work in Italy, country number two. I've got some businesses in Africa, I don't know, in the gold mines. <laughs> In Tanzania or Sierra Leone, that's a karma. Okay, dear beautiful ladies. So in the voice notes, you heard that she was saying, this guy was talking to me so nicely, telling me sweet things. Of course, that's how scammers work. They're going to tell you exact words that you want to hear from a man. He's going to make sure you hopelessly <laughs> fall in love with him so that he can easily 
manipulate you so don't be like oh my god he never asked me for nude photos of course he's not interested in your nude photos he's interested in your money <laughs> so he will praise you he will love bomb you until you fall into his trap be very very careful dear beautiful ladies she also said that he never asked her for money of course these scammers are not stupid they are very very intelligent he knows when he asks you money directly you will know that this is a scammer he's trying to ask me money and bella said when a guy brings money talks run <laughs> so he will talk of his situations that needs money and cause you already hopelessly in love with him you will offer to help send money once you start sending you will keep sending until you go bankrupt. Yeah, that's how they do it. So let's be very, very careful. Yes, it's good to hear sweet words from a guy. Enjoy only that moment when he's telling you those sweet words, but believe it, start attaching yourself when you see the actions. Please, please, my beautiful ladies guys the last red flag and i remember very well i talked about this red flag when i shared with you a video about paxa a south african lady who was also scammed on online dating apps when a guy tells you i am alone i don't have any relatives <laughs> <laughs> some of them tell you my mother is no more my father is no more i have remained only me guys don't get me wrong this is not a situation that cannot happen it can happen but you just need to observe after this guy telling you i am alone what next does this guy have friends i know some are introverts but have at least one friend and if that one friend exists he should introduce you to that friend he can't just tell you i am alone <laughs> i don't have anyone i don't have any relatives i don't have any friends when you hear that just know that something is wrong somewhere this guy is trying to hide you from things that he knows when you know them that will be the end of your relationship so in the voice notes you can hear that that guy had only his mother he is alone 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 was born alone so that's a red flag too let us be careful guys because these scammers every day they come with new tricks but if you're always here watching me listening to my videos no man on online dating apps will scam you no man can scam bella babies <laughs> this is for sure <laughs> and that is why this lady was saved too <laughs> even before i finished her story just few of her voice notes i had known already the guy is a scammer but after finishing listening to her i advised her told her this guy is a scammer do one two three four and after doing what i advise her you will hear what she came to tell me <laughs> hi bella good evening how are you i wish you all come see your baby queen i wish everything bella that man is a scammer that man is a scammer like what you you told me the last time i should i should tell him that the money i'm working here is for my family so i decided to talk to him about that but still the man is messaging me talking to me sweet sweet they and insist a lot talking about the instagram when he has nine accounts Imagine. everything i told him nine accounts on instagram plants all the plants he has to scam me everything like that i told him then he decided not to message me again Good. because the, his guilty conscience exactly his guilty conscience has said bella thank you very much i, I really really appreciate you that man he has, he has well, come to dear. message me he has talked to message me i'm really happy because i told him everything about his scamming 
is coming, the, the way he's coming, people, I told him about his Instagram, when he has nine accounts, everything like that. Well, please, I want you to give advice to the ladies. Now, you know what the guys are doing. They use, they use these American numbers. They use these American numbers, which of course some of them, they are not in America, they are not in, in the United States. But I don't know how they, got, they, got, they get the numbers of United States. When they go to online dating or they go on Facebook or Instagram, they started writing on their profile. That they, they started writing on their profile that they are in the United States. And when they gave you the number, when they gave you the number to communicate with them, it is the United States number. But when you started talking on video calls, you will, you will notice that they are not in the United States. So please, Bella, I want you to give advice to the ladies out there who are shouting for love. Let them be careful. Now, people are using different countries' numbers. Different, different countries, the numbers of those countries, but they are not in that country. They are using it so that you will, you will believe that they are in the country, so that they will have way to lie to you or to scam you. So please, Bella, you have to give this advice out there, okay? Okay. I love you so much, Bella. Love you too. <laughs> so uh, that's it guys and i'm so glad i was able to help her so friends let me hope you have enjoyed this video liked it learned something if you did please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good comment below what you think about this video i would really really love to know what you think <laughs> yeah so it will make me happy to read your comments if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.